Hi, I'm Tim Walden, the Administrative Services Manager for Region 4, and this is Talking Orange. Welcome aboard the Utah. Save that boulder call. The ferry, as it crosses from Halls Crossing to Bullfrog Marina, is an extension of Highway 276. So, actually the park, National Park Service, has a boundary a couple miles in and a couple miles in on the other side. When you hit the water, it becomes SR-276. This is an avenue for tourists, uh, tourism. We basically are looking at about a 90 minute drive around from one side to the other. And here we've got about a 15 minute, 18 minute crossing. The advantage to that is it keeps a lot of people in the area. Tourism from San Juan County, uh, Kane, Garfield, Wayne, uh, the, the counties in the southern, uh, particularly southeast, uh, really rely on this for tourism. I think this is so much fun. This is the first time we've done this and it's a blast. I've come here every year of my life almost. This is the first time I've done it and we're loving it. Smooth ride, that's important. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's friendly. I've been captain for 16 years, 16 this year. I love because I'm on the boat every single day. Every <laughs> I love I love boating. I love water. It's just that the view, I love the view. The U.S. Coast Guard has a requirement of what's on deck here as far as crew members. You've got to have a captain and a minimum of two other crew members. They have to be certified. They have to go through some U.S. Coast Guard training. Good morning. How are you folks doing this morning? I like working here. I meet a lot of people and uh, responsibility is a lot in your hand when you're a ferry captain because you are responsible for the people who are riding the ferry cross and due to their, you know, their kids and, you know, their pets and stuff like that. That's the whole thing is lookout. A lookout is a, the most important thing on here on the vessel. What do you think about this boat? Awesome. Awesome? Why awesome? The engines that operate this vessel are Detroit Diesel. Everything above the actual power plant, everything below the power plant is Rolls Royce. So if anybody ever says that we don't, that UDOT doesn't take care of us and buy us the best stuff, they did at the time. And one of the operating issues that we have to overcome is that these uh, Rolls Royce outdrives are no longer supported by Rolls Royce. They've moved out of the country and we're no longer able to use those. Uh, so what we've done is we've went to Carlos with our region director's guidance and we've requested uh, some, some funding, since this is Highway 276, to be able to replace these and extend the ramps. And that looks like it's going through at this time. Basically, we average uh, in a year anywhere between 10 and 20,000 uh, passengers. We've had uh, belly dumps on here with pulling pups, with gravel. I mean, it holds. It can be filled front to back, three lanes, as you'll notice. And it fits right in with UDOT's tenants, as you have USPS, UPS, uh, FedEx, Pepsi, Cola, Frito-Lay, these type of people uh, utilizing the ferry. And uh, they're doing that on a daily basis now, and that is uh, helping keeping Utah moving. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for riding with us or sailing with us. You all have a wonderful trip. As Carlos would say, thank you for all you do, and be safe out there. Buckle up, put your cell phones down, and remember, it's you that keeps Utah moving.